recording is happening. Okay, so now I'm gonna mute everybody. Give me a second. Here we go. I'm unmuting everybody. If you're just joining, welcome. Uh, mute. There we are. All right. So here we go. So good morning. Happy, what day is today? Happy Thursday. We don't even know what day of the week we live in. Okay, so ideally everybody should be able to see me on the length of my mat. Um, we're gonna get ready. If you just joined, a quick reminder, you're gonna need a heavier weight. Could be a plate, could be anything heavy, but heavy, not as heavier than 10 pounds, somewhere around there. You wanna need a pair of dumbbells, light to moderate, nothing too heavy, because what you're gonna be using this with will be actually hefty. And you will gonna need a band. Any type of elastic um, resistance um, equipment that you have is uh, uh, nice to have. You don't have it, it's fine. I'm gonna, you're working on ranges, we'll do it. All right, so shall we do it? If you have a uh, tracker, get it ready to roll, and we're moving. So come on, lie down, side onto the device that you're watching this from, and we begin. All right, so bring your hands to the side of your hips. Your palms are facing up. Now listen carefully. Bring your belly button deep into your spine. That just automatically turned on your abs. That's gonna protect your low back. So we're gonna begin with a warm up. We begin with an easy alternating leg lift. Are you ready? In three, two, one, front leg first. So lift and tap. One, two, one, two. My knees start and stop directly above my hip line. I am really light tapping on the toes to keep the load of the legs going. Nice job. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Bring your hands to temples. Prepare to stop your legs. Bring your legs down. Crunch up, two and two. Go up, up, down, and down. So chin tucks in. Your ribs to hips. Your elbows wide. Your gaze in between legs. Nice. Four more. Go up, up, down, and down. So upper abs warm up. Nice. So up and down. Two more. So we're going to put these two moves together. Last one here. Cross curl. Twist front. So front to back. Lift and twist. So lift and reach with your elbows wide. Shoulders to knee. Lift and twist. Go eight, seven, six five, four, three, two, we go back to just lower legs, lift, up, tap, up, tap. All right, we're getting warmer, you know the move now. So try to bring your toes a little bit further away from your bum to make the levers longer and work a little bit harder. And do not unload your weight. So this is all about lower ab engagement. Up, down, up, down. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, park the legs, hands to temples, crunch up, two, two. Here we go. Go up, up, down, and down. Nice. All right. So now that you know it, can you maybe try to reach a little higher? Yep. So shoulder blade should be peeling off the ground entirely, and your chin tucks in to keep the flexion coming in and protecting the neck. So up, up, down, down. Nice. You've got two more. Go up. And down, last one. Everybody, cross curl, twist to the front. So up, down, up, down. Nice. Stay with it. All right, and if you're ready for a little extra, maybe extend your legs out to 45. Watch your low back. And remember, chin tucks in, and it's a lift with a twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, everything comes down. Bring your heels close to your booty. We're gonna warm up your back. So lift your hips up, squeeze at the very top of the range, roll your shoulders down and back, and we pulse halfway down, all the way up. Halfway down and squeeze, release and squeeze. So the drive is coming through the heels, which is forcing your glutes to press up. You should feel tension in your low mid back. Um, you should feel tension in the glutes. And you can feel the pressure in your quads as well. Stay with me. You've got four. Nice. Three. You've got two. We're going to come back to this a lot later. Bring everything down and you move. Hands to temples. C crunch, triple pose. Go three, two, one. Bring it down. So hands reach out to your heels. 
chin tucks in, you've got eight. Nice, bring it back. Seven, triple pulls. On the triple pulls, try to get to the farthest you can go. Go three, two, one. Are your knees stopping directly over your hips? Yep, light tap. Three more, go three, two, one, and back. Three, nice. Last two, can you feel that warmth? You're so ready to work out. Last one here and down. All right, so grab one leg and roll your way up and we're ready to begin. So I'm gonna be facing you. You guys can do it at the length of your mat. So we're gonna work on track number two. So this one is all about stabilizers and we're gonna work really hefty. This is maybe our longest um, set of work. So bring your belly down into the floor, bring your elbows directly underneath your shoulders and your fists are together. When you're there, lift your booty up and try to line it up with your shoulders. So this is your hover. This is always your safe place to come back to when you need some rest or if this is your preference. If you want a little extra, lift your knees off the ground and bring your heels to the back of your room and just hold it right there. So right now there is pressure deep through the forearms and now I'm intentionally pressing my chest down and making sure that my butt is not falling below the shoulder height or above it. So long, strong line. All right, everybody, so we begin part one of our combination. With either arm, you're gonna shoot out to the corner. Are you ready? In three, two, one, tap out. Go out, in, other, out, in. So alternating out, tap. And you can feel how your abs really need to tighten up because you're preventing rotation from the hips. Nice job. And remember, knees, always an option, yes? Go out. In, out, in, four more. Go four, three, we're about to add on. Now, um, opposite leg, out, in. So now it's leg and arm, crossing out, in. So it's like you're forming an X. Out, in, out, in, nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two more. All right, everybody. Hold it right here. So you're back in a hover. If you need to, drop to the knees. If you're on your knees, lift those knees. It's just a few seconds. Your eyes should be straight into your fists. Three, two, one. Drop and coming up. All right, so we're gonna roll onto our backs. For this part, you're gonna need your heavier version of your weight. Come on down. So I'm on my back. I'm gonna press the plate directly over my shoulders, light down on the elbows. I'm gonna bring my knees into 90 degrees. That's level one. Level two, extend out. Scissors split, right and left. Here it is, front, back, front, back. So this is all about lower abs. And you're actually working your shoulders because you're weighing, you're adding weight, right? Say with me. So progression, go eight, seven, Six, five, we're about to move to level two. I think you know it. Lift your chest up and try to reach your, sh your shoelaces. Stay with me. You've got 16, 15, 14. If it's too much, toe tap, toe tap. You're still working out in. Nice job. Five, four, three, progression, three. Arms go back. Now my arms are by my show, my uh, ears, and I'm still crunching up. Chin tucks in, watch your low back, watch your neck, nice. Eight, seven, six, five, entire abdominal wall working. Three, two, one, bring your plate in, bend your knees, roll over. We return to the hover um, work. So now I'm gonna go sideways. So you can get the side view. Okay, so we start in the hover. Remember, this is always your safe place, yes? Ready for more? Lift your knees up. And we're gonna begin this time progressing the same move that we did earlier, but not tapping the floor. We're hovering, so that's gonna add a lot more pressure. In three, two, either arm goes out, out, in, out, 
in. So there is no, ba the balance is completely in. You need to work harder to keep it everything squared out in. So we become a tripod, yes? Press deep through the forearm, brace your belly harder. You've got four, three, we move on. At opposite leg, it hovers. So a light lift, it shouldn't be higher than your hip line. Out, in. Now you can be doing this on your knees, yes? You're still pressing out. There are not, there is no touch of the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You've got two more, yes you can. One, hold right here. All right, take a deep breath, breathe. Press your chest down. If you're on your knees, lift off, please. It's very short. Five, four, three, two, one. On your knees, all right, part two. Come on back onto your backs. We're gonna change it a little bit. So, we're gonna bring your plate up. Bend your elbows at 90, park that weight directly over your forehead. Lift your knees up to 90 degrees and then lift your chest up. So we're gonna shoot out legs out and arms out and then bring them all at the center at the top. Here it is. So out, out, up, up, out, out, in, in. So watch the low back here. And when you come to the pike, make sure you're trying to reach your laces. So out, out, in, in, out, out, up, up. Nice. So it's low and controlled. It's time under tension, which makes you work harder, but more efficiently. And in, out, out, up, up. Nice. Ooh. Go out, up, out. In four sets, out, reach high. Watch the low back, crunch in, keep going. Out, up, out. Two more full sets, yes we can, out. You're burning, out, and in. Last one, make it count. Lift, lower, and reach. Come on down. Roll over. All right. One more round. This is where we stop for your first round of work. All right. So set yourself up right off the bat. Knees or toes. Okay. So your choice to go back to actually tapping on the ground or hovering above ground. We begin with your hands only in three, two, one. Let's go. So out, switch out, switch. Nice. So every time you position your elbow back on the ground, make sure it's under your shoulder. Watch the rotation of your hips. Everything squared and long. Nice. You've got four, three, two, at opposite leg. Hover or tap, hover or tap. Remember, it's a small lift of the, of the, flow of the foot. Should be tapping. I mean, should be above ground. Nice. Oh my, you've got eight, seven, six, five. Remember knees count two, yes? Tap or not. Ready? One and hold. Hold it right here. Now, knees, lift them off the ground, everybody. If you want to make it a little bit easier, maybe just a tad, widen up your stance, press your chest down, press deep through the forearms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my, on your knees, give yourself a quick stretch and let's stand up. All right, so here comes your first standing track. You're going to need either a band, and for this one, Lori, use definitely your weight or your pair of weights, yes? You're gonna work exactly the same with both, both types of um, equipment. Step with either foot on top, I'm going with my right, stepping forward, and my opposite leg goes all the way back. Now, one handle on each hand, but more importantly, 
I'm gonna bring my shoulders up, down, and back, position myself long and strong, and then I'm gonna tip forward um, at a 95 degree, a 45 degree angle. So nose over toes. My neck and vision is right in front of me, maybe two and a half, three feet in front. My hands are out and long. I'm gonna start rowing in and back in and back. I'm sinking deep in my supporting leg at the front. My front knee is out and I'm punching. It's a cement mixer up and down. Nice. So your elbow, always rubbing the side of your body and try to lift your hands up to have resistance going. Nice. All right, everybody. We're heading into a combo where we're going to combine strength and balance. You've got four, three, two, Lift the back leg, hold down, go four, three, two, lift, squeeze down, four, three, two, squeeze, return, go four, three, two, squeeze, yes you can, go four, three, oh my, two, and one, can you feel the pressure in your front glute? Squeeze and down. Go for four, three, two, one, two more. Four, three, punch forward. Two, lift your arms. Go four, three, two, lift and lower. Great job. All right, everybody, everything on the other side. Let me mute everybody again. I hear a couple of you latecomers. Just a second. I, sorry. Just a second. Okay, so you're setting up. You're setting up on your other foot, right? Here it comes. All right, so now you know what I'm going to give you the side view. Long step back, front knee out, back leg long, chest is lifted, hinge forward, arms out, right in front of your shoulder heart. Start, uh, start rowing up and back, up and back, so it's a push and a pull, and you need to lift the arm up, right? Don't let it drop. One more, you do exactly that, keep them low. Lift, lower, lift, lower, nice. All right, so you know where we're heading, strength and balance compromise. Four, three, two, squeeze down, go four, three, two, Squeeze, drop. Are you driving through the front heel? Squeeze, down. Go for four, three, two. Squeeze, drop. Four, three. Oh my, two. Lift. Can you feel the rotation power? Ooh. Down. Go. Four, three, two. Squeeze. Keep moving. Out. Rubbing friction in between arms and body. Lift, four, three, two, squeeze, drop, four, three, you're too close. Lift, last one, go four, three, make it count, two, squeeze, drop. Oh my goodness, good job. So we get rid of the band now and grab your weight. Light to moderate for this one. It could be the heavier one. Maybe just have it close by if you realize you can do more. We're moving on to Atlas. Continuing with rotation power. Now I'm gonna sink into a deep squat, keeping a long proud spine, brace stab, knees out. Grabbing my weight with two hands, and we go corner to knee, corner to knee. Now to intensify, sink deeper on the legs, lift, and return. You can feel the rotation right off the back, mid back, upper back, shoulders and abs, up, down. What about your low body? Squeeze, nice. Four, three, two, one, reset. Oh my, we're going in opposite direction. Sink deep, set it up, lift, opposite knee, ready, go, up, down, up, down. All right, I forget about my legs, sink deep. Corner knee, corner knee. My hips are squared forward. So it's all about my upper body twisting and controlling. Up, down, eight more. Eight, seven, six, 
Five, feel that waistline. Four, three, two, one, down. Oh my goodness, nice job. All right, so here is where you're gonna go for your band. For those of you who have the therapy band, you made a knot, stay right on it. No band, no problem, just focus on range. For those of you who have a band like mine, step right on it. Next part, all about hips and glutes. All right, so my feet are slightly outside of hip width. I can stay right here for less intensity, but I want a little extra, so I cross my handles. Everybody brings their hands up to your, uh, to your hips. Bring your shoulders up, down, and back, and brace your belly. All right, everybody, so watch me. It's a down, up, down, back leg. Down, up, down, join me. Go down, up, down, squeeze. Squat with extension, down, up, nice. So there is no side bending. Lift, up, lift, squeeze, nice. Drive with the heel at the back and through the heel on the supporting leg when you extend out, up, down, back. Yep. Two more. Feel the glutes, feel the hip flexors. Now listen, down, up, down, up. Just hold the squats. Yeah, yep. Four, three. We're heading to a walk. Two sides, four steps. Go four, three, two, take it back. Now I'm stepping really wide with my chest lifted. Take it back, go again, one more. Sink deep, especially if you don't have a band. Bring it back, go four, three, two, and one, two more rounds, four, three. Can you feel that, oh my. Take it back, all right everybody. Three, two, Hold it here, reset. We go back to the beginning. Feet wider than hips, squat, back extension. Down, up, down, back. Who breathe. You've got this. In the squat, remember, knees out. Drive through heels on both sides. When you extend and lift, down, up, down, back. You got this. Four, three, Two, how far back are you pushing? One, now stay with the squats. Down, up, down, squeeze, lift. All right, everybody. In two, we go for a walk, walk either side. So four, three, two, bring it back. I'm gonna challenge myself by getting deeper and stepping wider. How about yourself? Go again, go four, three, two, bring it back. Yes, we can, four. Three, two, and one. Guess what? You've got a double round. Ooh. Four more. You're halfway. Four, three. Sink deep. Chest lifted. How wide? Step down. Four, three. Yes, we can. Two more, please. Four, three, two, and one. Last one. All right, everybody. Come back to center. Hold. All right, so listen. We're going to reset our posture. We're gonna transfer the weight to one foot. Either one, side leg lift. Out, in, out, in. Now, it's straight to the side. And I'm not leaning. I'm holding, controlling. So I'm working both sides of the body. One's is strength. The other one is fighting resistance. Nice, you've got eight, seven, six, five. Stay with it. Four, three, so worth it. Two, one, reset. Transfer other side, we begin. 16, 15, 14. Ooh, are you sinking deep in the supporting leg? Are you driving through the heel to the side? Nice, you've got eight, seven, six, five burning. Four, three, two, Hold, all right, final move. It's an out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Wide, wide, in. So widest and wide. So no narrow steps, in, in. Out, out, in, in. When I step in, not closer than hip line. Out, out, in, in. You're halfway in, eight more. Eight, 
chest lifted, sink deep. Make it harder, sumo squat, in, in, sumo. You've got four, Ooh. three, stay with. Two and it's out, you're almost there. Nice job, stay, reset. Great job, everybody. All right, so you're banned out of the way for now. We return to the floor. Come on back with me. Okay, so listen, your cardio will continue to rise on this one. Take a rest when you need it. Grab some water if you need it. Use your own body weight for this. So we set up either a tabletop stance for level one or a full plan for level two. So this track is all about oblique working. So here is where we go. I'm gonna start in level one. I'm gonna bring my knee to the tricep. In, back, in, back. So you can keep going there. And if you're on your, on your toes, cross that knee to opposite tricep. Hands under shoulders, gaze is forward. Nice job. All right, you've got the hang of the move. We're about to accelerate. In four, three, two, double time. Here it is, so in, back, in, back. Switch, 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 switch. Press deep through the hands. Feel the pressure in shoulders. Feel your abdominal working. Back is assisting. Eight, seven, six, five. Are you crossing? Four, three, two, one. On your knees. Oh my goodness. Come on back. All right, everybody. We're going to set, set up side hover. So listen, no wait for this one. Shoulder, elbow. I have transferred my hips to get stacked above each other, and I'm lining up hips, knee and heel. So level one, lift your hips off the ground. Try to keep it as high as it possibly can. Level two, sister split, hips are still squared, arm goes up. Now listen, I'm gonna rotate down into a hover. One, two, three, and four. Now if I'm on my knee, one extends as the other one bends. Nice, so up, up, down, down. If I am on my toes, I'm still above, my hips are high. So up, up, down, down. Everything comes with you. Whether you're on knees or toes, your gaze follows your hand, you're squeezing hard, and you should feel pressure in your lower abdominal. I mean, side, lower. Up, down, down, up. Up to more, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up, and hold. Everybody on your knee. Now listen, square everything, pulse up. You've got 16, 15, 14, 13. Can you feel your glutes squeezing? More for the same movement. Eight. Seven, six, five, oh my, four, three, two, one, come on down. All right, so roll to the other side and we do everything again. All right, so again, you can be on tabletop, you can be on your toes. Either way, hands under shoulders, spread your, your fingertips wide. Let's begin. Tap back, in, back. On your toes, cross it. Look forward, sink deep through the heels of the hand. And if you want a little extra, try to reach a little closer to the tricep. Up, back, up, back, nice. Four more, four, three. Are you ready to speed up? Double time, here it is, in, back, in, back. If you're on your knees, fast as you can, tapping, tapping, make it work. Your speed, your choice. In, back, in, back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down. Ooh. All right, everybody, come on back. All right. So let's set up hover on the other side. So you know, my iPod is falling, sorry. Okay, so you know exactly where we're going. Line everything up elbow, shoulder. Transferring hips forward, hips, knee, and heel. Level one on one knee. 
level two scissor split. Either way, come on up. Make sure your arm is directly over your shoulder. Rotating hover coming at you, two, two. In, in, up, up. Remember, on your knee or on your toes. Yep, down and up, down and up. Side hovers. Of course, it's oblique. You can feel the shoulder. You can feel your legs. You can feel your spine working. Down and up. Spine muscles, I mean. Rise, down and up. Four more, go four. Who three, two, and one. All right, come on back to the top. Where everybody drop on one knee, hip pulses, 16, 15, 14. Do not allow your hips to fall backwards or forward. Stacked, nice, halfway, go eight, seven, six, you're so close, five, four, three, two, ouchie, come on down, great job, everybody. All right, so one more working track. Come on up, please, for this one. Grab the pair of weights you have. Remember, anything that adds weight, cans, water bottles, dumbbells, plates. You can even use a band for this one if you don't have these. You just step on like we did earlier and you keep your hands separate. So this track is all about your back. It's gonna be a little bit longer than usual. Bring your shoulders up, down and back. Brace your belly, heels under hips. Now tip forward, bring your knuckles forward. This is just a row, up, down up, down. So what are we working here? Shoulders and back, lift, lower, biceps and triceps, assisting in push and pull, up, down, up, down. You've got it. Eight, seven, six, five. We're about to add pressure. Four, three, two, triple pulse on the next. Go three, two, one, drag. Three, two, one, resist. Shoulder blades up, down, and back. Nice, long back. Side view, go three, two, one. So I'm not curving, everything long and strong. Three more, go three, two, one. Down, three, two, one. Two more, please. Three, ooh, last one. All right, everybody, down and rise. All right, so that was a lot of pulling, right? We're going to push. Bring your weights down. Come on down on the floor where we will finish the rest of the class. So we're going into push-ups. Options. Level one, knees under hips. Level two, diagonal knees. Level three, on your toes. I encourage you to start leveling up. So if you normally are here, Go for this one for now. Work a little bit harder now that you're kind of fresh. All right, hands outside of shoulder width. You're in your level. Two, two, down, up. Go down, down, up, and up. Looking forward. Your nose to floor. Your chest to elbow height. And you're concentrating and pushing away. Down, down, up, up. Such a functional move. Carrying your entire body weight. Let's go. Down, down, up. One more. We're going to make it harder. Triple bottom pulls. Go three, two, one, and rise. If you need to, knees under hips, all the weight on the top body. Or knees back. Three, two, one. Keep moving. Go for three, two, one. You've got four more. Yes, we can. Three, two, one, and lift, keep going. Three, two, one. Last one, yes it is. Three, two, one, knees down. Pull back, quick stretch. Final part, roll onto your backs. We're gonna do our basic, but highly efficient and effective hip bridges. So you're on your back, feet as close to your booty, palms to the sides, and facing up. Lift your booty up. Roll your shoulders down and back. Find the top of your range. You should be squeezing hard. Halfway down, down, up, down, up. All right, pretty simple. 
Make it work harder. Thread through heel squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You know you're top of the range when you squeeze as hard as it goes. Up, down, up, down, nice. Stay with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We're gonna make it a little bit harder. Pulse to the top. Six, 32, 31. Now, top of the range, I barely release and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. So that squeeze feels throughout the move. Nice. One fourth down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Through the heel, squeeze harder, 16 count. Nice. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Ooh. Eight more, go for eight, seven, six, five, four, and it's over, three, two, one, and everything rolls down. Ah, bring your hands behind your legs, lift your chest up, head in between your knees, and just hold it here for a second. This should feel fantastic. We made it, you made it. All right, everybody, come on back down, bring your hands over your head, a well-deserved short stretch. So hands pulling as far away as they go, feet in opposite direction as if something is trying to pull you in opposite directions. Before you let go, bring your knees toward your toes. Deep inhale and exhaling throughout, and then let everything go. Bring your hands to the sides, palms face up, bend your knees, and drop your knees to the back of the room, your eyes towards your device or vice versa, right? It doesn't matter which side. Nice job, so just breathe. You should be feeling a nice release in your low back and your glutes. All right, everybody, now come back to center and let's do the other side. Drop the knees to the front, eyes in opposite direction from your knees. Just allow your body to melt and soak the entire stretch. Whew, great job. All right, from here and when you're ready, bring your knees back to the front. We're gonna do a quick hip opener. Bring your knee, I mean your front leg on top of your back knee. With your front arm, press this knee out. Bring your glutes deep into your, you know, the floor. Feel that opening. The further out you push, the deeper the stretch is felt, right? So this is a hip opener. It also stretches your piriformis. You should be feeling your glutes as well. Nice job. Switch sides for me. So no back leg on top of your front knee. Sink your tailbone down onto the floor. Now press your knee out, find your hot spot. Now the hot spot, it just means it's slightly uncomfortable, but it should never ever be painful. The stretch should not hurt. Should challenge your muscles, but no pain included. Nice job. All right, now grab this knee and roll your way up. And let's go into a tabletop. We're gonna do a quick stretch of your shoulders, upper and mid back. So bring your feet out wide, bring your booty back, and then bring your hands forward. So child's pose, yes? So bring your forehead to touch your mat. Try to keep your butt as far back as it goes. And just when you think you're there, try to inchworm your fingertips a little bit further forward. So the stretch should be climbing from your arms into your shoulders and back. Your quads and your glutes are active. Nice job. All right, from here, bring yourself back to tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Set yourself up. Now tuck your toes under. We're going into a downward dog. So lift your booty up. Bring your chest directly towards your knees. Let go of your neck. Maybe give me a yes or a no movement to just let the muscles know that they're free. Now slowly release your heels down onto the ground. Are you still pressing your chest towards the knees? This should feel an awesome stretch. So it climbs through your heels all the way up and over to your fingertips. Nice job. Now slowly walk your hands or feet together and stay in a forward fold. You can bend your knees as much as you want. Just hold it here for a second. Now do this with me. Lift your tailbone an inch higher, trying to get yourself a little bit deeper and closer to your shin. So deeper stretch. Nice job. And then slowly release and take a deep inhale on the way up. Exhale out. And then give yourselves a big pat in the back. We made it. Thank you for coming. Have a very good day, everybody. Thank I will you. see you next Tuesday. My pleasure. Thank next Tuesday at 7. Have a good one. Great. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Take care.
Bye, everyone. Have All a right, fantastic thanks. day. My pleasure. You're, you're welcome. Bye, everybody. Arrivederci. <laughs> Arrivederci. That's right. That's right. All right. Okay. Okay, everybody. Great class. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a good one.